gotta realize that there's a difference between talking shit about people and talking truth about shitty people. That is not my quote, but whoever wrote it, hey. I don't like when people trick people. There's still a few weeks until my podcast and new videos launch, but I could not let this go on. He's full of shit! Jay Shetty is full of shit. He's 100% full of shit and stole every single thing his career is based off. Dear Jay Shetty. Those of you who don't know, I spent a ton of my 20s in bed and on disability after a car accident. Part of helping me get through extreme chronic pain was listening to every motivational, spiritual, every kind of positivity and awesome inspiration that I could every day. I would say I'm a spirituality and motivation connoisseur. So when I saw Jay's post, I went, what the fuck? Uh. And that was a meme that I posted on Pinterest in like 2010. Being a thief pays, asked Jerry. In two years of stealing everybody else's material, Jay got himself on the Forbes 30 under 30 list and is making millions. Millions. Jay just tweeted, in West Philadelphia, born and raised. It's not like he reposted somebody else's meme. He crops their name out and puts in Jay Shetty. That's stealing. But there's no way Facebook's golden child who says the word authentic. Like a hundred times a talk to make desperate housewives in search of a sugary hit of fake, fluffy motivation come in their pants. <clears throat> there's no way he's copying his homework from the smart kids in the class. He's tweeting again. Four score and seven. You didn't, you didn't write that. But <laughs> make him a sociopath and a liar and at very least a plagiarist. We're meant to love people and use things, but today we use people and love things. The way we communicate says it all. We spend more time holding our phones than we hold each other. When you're young, you say I love you because I need you. When you grow up, you realize I need you because I love you. Oh, well, fuck your mother. It's all of them. You, you literally steal your everything. Don't let someone be a priority when all you are to them is an option. Ah, oh, God, I love it when I'm right. Another one. Some of us lose the people most important to us because we don't value their time. That is straight stealing. Life and time are the best two teachers. Life teaches us to make good use of time and time teaches us the value of life. By the Jay Shetty School of Writing, this is my cartoon character, Liza Sampson. <laughs> Oh, Liza, your entire career is a lie. True. Of us have been in the crowd that felt lonely. I watched this like it was two girls, one cup. All of us have been invited to a party but wanted to leave. All of us have likes on social media but don't feel loved in real life. So many of us can get comments on our posts oh. but can't get a friend to call us back. Oh, shit, you're caught. Investing our money in experience rather than things Spend time with people who look more like your future than your past. Lonely is not being alone. It's the feeling that no one loves you. So start by loving yourself. Okay, right. Yo, I can't with this one. Now memes are dope as fuck and should be shared. Ideas are recycled all the time. It's how we teach each other and learn. And Robin Williams famously accidentally said other comics bits on stage because he just his brain goes so fast and shit happens. But that's not what's happening here. Jay Shetty consistently steals other people's work and puts his name on it as the fucking author. Pretty shitty thing to do at. Ooh, this one. Would you be if the world never gave you a label? Never gave you a box to check? Would you be white, black? And fit inside the boxes and we're perfectly okay with life outside the lines. We don't want to live in boxes. I was living as a monk, literally meditating in caves. Uh, I'm not joking at all. You did, he says it like he went through something. Dude, you chose to sit in a cave. That sounds awesome. Batman would probably agree. If this were comedy, you'd be called out for stealing jokes, being a hack, and Joe Rogan would be jumping on stage at your next show because you, sir, are the Carlos Mencina of the spirituality motivational guru world, bitch. 
There's award-winning videos that Facebook Watch made go viral. Oh, that's how he got his views, by the way. Facebook started the watch program and they put Jay in that program to show advertisers they should spend on Facebook Watch. They bumped his numbers up. Bump, bump, bumped it up. They didn't fake the views. They just put him in everybody's feed even when they didn't follow him so that those views would accumulate. I know, because that's how he ended up in mine. And then so they could keep showing Facebook Watch on make advertisers money, they put the algorithm in his favor. Everybody who likes his page, gets to see his stuff. That does not happen for the rest of us. Facebook can totally do that if they want to. They were promoting their new show. It's like when Britney Spears' promotional team used to buy a million of her singles the night before it went out, so that by the time it went out, it was already a hit single. It wasn't lying, it was marketing. I just knew he was a liar. And there's only one other person in the whole world that when I met them, I was like, this is, mm -mm. When I put out one post about this, I got so many messages from giant influencers being like, you stole my too. But other people are too scared to say anything because he has a lot of followers and that's the problem with the world, isn't it? If we can't stand up to people who have perceived power when they're doing something wrong, we're gonna end up with more Weinstein. Because when you get away with lying consistently, you're up. And you know people are catching on because a couple weeks ago, Brendan Bouchard, Brendan Bouchard is legend in the speaker community. He's like Aerosmith, he doesn't age and he sounds amazing every time. He commented on Jay's thing telling him to quote people too. I believe that's when he stole a quote from Paulo Coelho, the author of The Alchemist, worldwide bestseller. Don't fuck. What's another weird thing is he said he was a monk and left the monkery to bring all of his thoughts to social media and help change the world. By his thoughts, I mean other people's thoughts with his name underneath it. He's a thought thought. Don't write any spiritual quote stick. There you go. I'm not saying he's not a monk. I'm just saying it was very difficult to find any evidence that he actually ever was. And I think he's lying. How has nobody realized that his famous monk photo is a hoodie and a scarf? That Yeah, that's just, that's American apparel. Namaste telling the truth. But why do I care? I'll tell you. Someone who can lie, like bold-faced lie like this, is a sinister mother Posing as a spiritual guru while stealing everybody's work? No one's supposed to say anything when he's a plagiarist because he wore a hoodie and a scarf one time and shaved his head? Really? Well, I've been to meditation class too, and if you guys see me post someone else's work without quoting them, Tell me! Because I realized that people work their entire lives to build their material. And this motherfucker just swooped in and stole credit and money from everybody else's work. You steal from my heroes, my friends, my fans have told me you've stolen from me. Did he really? Did he? Okay, somebody send that to me, because... And I really believe as creators, especially at the time we live in right now, we have such a responsibility. Accepting awards for other people's material is f Wrong. I don't care if you were on Ellen. And preying on vulnerable people who need a spiritual pick-me-up is really fucked up. He's a bad person. May the force be with you, Jay Shetty. You're not even trying anymore. Come on! Any other industry, he would be fired, tarred, feathered, and thrown out for this shit. Ask Pharrell about blurred lines with art. Too soon. It's so easy to type in the things that he pretends he made up and see who really said it. And for those of you who might get mad at me for saying something about the nice guy just trying to spread positivity. You mean the fake expert and guru who's lying to your faces? We should probably make this video go viral. You know, because he thought we were all idiots that he could trick for money. <laughs> Motherfucker. Jay, I know you're gonna see this and I welcome you to have a debate or chat with me live on my Facebook. Love to talk to you about plagiarism, authenticity, and anything else you wanna talk about. Maybe what monk school you went to. Live. Thanks for watching, keep laughing, be good to each other in real life, and until next time, go team. The truth will set you free, but first, it'll piss you off.